midnight oil. When a part fails and everything comes to a grinding halt, regardless of what the clock on the wall says, you leap into action. Granger is with you and all the ones who get it done. With 24-7 customer support by phone or click to chat. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. My heart was racing just making spaghetti. I could have waited to tell my doctor, but I didn't wait. I was short of breath just reading a book. I could have delayed telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. They told their doctors and found out they have atrial fibrillation, a condition which makes it about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you have one or more of these symptoms, irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, this is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Harlem Week is back, and this year you can attend in person or stream the events. For more information, go to harlemweek.com. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good afternoon, it's 91 degrees at 220. I'm Larry Cantor, and here's what's happening. We check in shortly with AccuWeather to see how much longer we'll have to endure the suppressive heat and humidity. Two sharks are spotted off the Rockaways, but the beaches remain open. The man who pulled the trigger in the killing of Ahmad Arbery in Bur uh, Brunswick, Georgia, gets a second life sentence, this one for committing a federal hate crime. British scientists report making headway in better understanding how skin cancer cells operate and spread. Kanye West kicks Pete Davidson on Instagram after the SNL alum splits with Kanye's ex, Kim Kardashian. In sports, Mets host the Reds, Yankees play at Seattle. Thank you, others. Some thunderstorms around this evening. Overnight low, 80. Another hot one tomorrow. Winds news time, 221. Time for traffic and transit. And here's Greg Wright. Now, this is in with this rollover on the West End Grand Central just before the Jackie Robinson in Kew Gardens. That's why the West End Grand Central doesn't move from the clear view. East End Grand Central, everybody's getting nosy, so that's the mess from the LYE through the queue. Getting out towards Union Turnpike, and because Kew Gardens is so bad, so is the East End Jackie Robinson Parkway barely moving from Forest Park Drive, getting through the Kew Gardens Interchange over to Union Turnpike because of this westbound rollover. They're clearing the wreck on the southbound FDR near East 13th, but still slow, coming back towards the Queensboro Bridge. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tolls because of the goings on in the Bronx on the eastbound side of the cross blocks over at the Deegan, where two lanes are blocked. The inbound George is awful. 30 to 45 on the upper, 30 minutes on the inbound lower. You want to get out of town, you want the west side, it's the best of the bad bunch. Lincoln Tunnel, it's about 10 either way. So is the Holland. Life's done and twice in the Queens down are bad, but Bronx down the construction's gone, and the ride's getting better. Traffic is sponsored by the New York Public Library. I'm Greg Rice on 1010 Wins. Join the NYPL for summer at the New York Public Library. They're giving away 500,000 free books for kids and teens. Visit an NYPL location and get yours while supplies last. Plus, join them for events, programs, and more. Visit nypl.org slash summer to learn more. But if you go outside today, you're going to get wet, either from rain or sweat. More from AccuWeather and meteorologist Kerry Schwindenhammer. Heat and humidity will be with us over the next couple of days. Now, while the heat will start to break a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday, we're stuck with humidity at least through the day on Thursday. And because of that, there could be some heavy thunderstorms around the middle of the week. But finally, humidity levels will start to break as we head through the latter part of the day on Friday and into the weekend. Tom Edison is asking customers in areas of eastern Brooklyn to conserve energy. The utility has reduced voltage by 8% to maintain reliability. It happens every year. The Strafangers campaign hands out its dubious achievement awards for the city's slowest and least reliable buses. The slowest bus among the ones with the highest ridership? It's one of the five winners of the Trap Hangers Campaign's Pokey Award, a golden snail on a pedestal. The campaign's Megan Ahern says, however, it has improved. Through, you know, just bus lanes and bus trains that are speeding up bus travel all together. As for the least reliable, the Schleppi goes to the Beach Well. Transit President Richard Davey, in an unusual move, came to accept the awards, but not happily. There's always something 
extra to do more to do at MCA, and I'm not going to stand here and say everything is perfect, that's for sure. These two bus routes are the last of the things we should be doing. What he and the transit groups agree on, there needs to be more bus lanes and more traffic enforcement. And that's the lead that Tim Tim Wings in Cooper Square. There were a couple of shark spottings this morning off the Rockaways. The Parks Department and the NYPD are monitoring the area. So is our Carol Dioria. She has a live report. Well, Larry, it would be a great day for the beach if it were not for those two sharks. Two sharks sighted just after dawn today at Beach 73rd Street. That's the Auburn neighborhood. No one is in the water at Beach 73rd Street, not because of the sharks, but that's because apparently that section of beach has been rented out to a film crew who's shooting a scene from the TV show Harlem. So I went to Beach 72nd, and there were about, I would say, two dozen people in the water. And Hattie had on her bikini. She was headed for the water. I mean, it's hot. You know, I mean, they're not big. Then they're usually not interested in humans, so. <laughs> I'm going in. Oh, yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. Well, there are red flags, lots of them, in fact, planted on the beach, which usually means swimming is prohibited. There are no lifeguards on duty at all. Now, whether that's because of the shark sighting or because of the uh, lifeguard shortage or the, the current, who knows, but uh, there are no lifeguards. Carol, the area 10 10 wings live at the 73rd Street. A 73 year old man remains hospitalized in stable condition after being punched in the face last night on a number two train. They say it happened near the Park Place station. The attacker fled and is still at large. The reason for the punch is unclear. Police can't say yet if the two men had any contact before it happened. Skies are mostly sunny. It's 91 degrees. We're heading up to 93. The AccuWeather real feel this hour, 96. Winds news time, 226. And now Bloomberg Money Watch on 1010 Winds. Here's Andrew O'Day. Wednesday and Thursday of this week, we'll get updated readings of consumer and producer inflation. And